The Donald Trump hush money trial has garnered public interest for several reasons. There was a spectacle of the first former president charged with criminal offenses. Now the trial revolved around allegations that Trump made payments to silence people who claimed to have extramarital affairs. The accusation being that these payments were to stop the story coming out ahead of Trump's 2016 election bid. One of the elements that featured and fueled interest wasn't the legal charge of falsifying business documents. On their own, these charges would probably never have really made the headlines. It was the involvement of Stormy Daniels who made sure that the case was always given maximum coverage. The case also involved Michael Cohen, Trump's lawyer, who had also served time for an offence committed during the Trump presidency. And there were other figures who were not actually called as witnesses, including the head of the Trump organisation, Alan Weisselberg, and Trump's bodyguard, Keith Schiller. Some even suggested that prosecutors were going to call on Baron Trump to stand as a witness, much to the alarm of Melania Trump, who has always closely guarded her son's privacy. Another important player relating to the issue of hush money was Karen McDougal. The one-time Playboy playmate was related to Trump during filming of The Apprentice. Considering Trump's influence and his love of models, it wasn't long before the pair were rubbing more than elbows. However, McDougall's story had been brought by the Enquirer and never published in a process known as catch and kill to stop any negative Trump stories appearing in the media. In the end, though, it was Stormy Daniels' revelations about the alleged sex that took place in a hotel room that were a large part of the trial's sensational public interest. Although really considered a sideshow, they helped the narrative of Trump's trial. The defense's cross-examination of Dan Daniels showed why Trump would have paid the money to cover up his affair with such a tawdry person. The result of this trial is that Trump stands guilty of all 34 charges and seeking a retrial that will probably take a lot of time to come through and certainly won't be until after Trump has already been sworn in as the Republican Party's candidate for the November election. Although this case may not have been as explosive as some may have hoped, it has provided enough scandal for it to have been a big story and will continue to be so for some time to come. It just goes to show that nobody cares what you do until you bang a blonde with big tits. Stay tuned for more updates, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.